This is one of my dearest friends. I've uh, just trying to count up once. How many times have Chuck Pierce and I ministered together? I don't know. It's got to be close to 300 probably or more. And um, we just have, the Lord has just joined our hearts. We're very different. We are. We're very different. Uh, the world couldn't take more than one Chuck Pierce. And yet, it's just almost like we just think alike, you know, in so many ways. And our gifts are so different, but our hearts are the same. And so, would you just welcome uh, a prophet to the nations and uh, our good friend, Chuck Pierce. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank all of you that are joining in with us. You know, <clears throat> I've tried to really streamline what the Lord would have me say tonight because, uh, you know, times are interesting. Look at somebody say, I think it's got to get deeper than that. But <laughs> times are real interesting right now. And I've been out of the country for almost a month, and I go to Panama uh, next uh, week, and it's just things going on all over. And yet you look at this nation and its influence, and you see why there's such a war on it. And... Um, as I walked in here, I started seeing so many things. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm having to pull in because uh, I, the spirit realm is so in motion for various reasons. And so I've had to really say, Lord, keep me clear and focused for where you're taking us because... The intensity of what is ahead for us is amazing. Uh, and it was like that word over you. Tim came over and said, are you aware of what he does? And I said, I'm assuming he's a pastor somewhere with that Dutch nose. And he said, he's the guy who leads the Supreme Court thing. And, uh, you know, it's amazing. I think, I mean, it, we could shut down tonight, I could prophesy over everybody. That would be awesome because I'm seeing things over everybody. Most of it's good. <laughs> Look at somebody and say, I hope I'm one of the good ones. Because I do see things. Uh, that's part of what prophets do. But I believe I have a clear message and when the pastor, Kevin, Kevin or Devin? Kevin. Kevin. Devin was prophetic. She was anointed. Well, Kevin was too. I'm not saying he was. Uh, but <laughs> I was sitting there in shock when he started speaking. The reason being, I have that story written in one of my books. I have that story written because when I was 18, I, I come from the oil field and oil and gas background. And so what I did every year to work my way through college at Texas A&M was to pipeline. And so one, uh, one summer, we knew there was a leak in a portion of line that was uh, a portion of line that no one would go check. And it had not been checked in over 20-something years. And, you know, when you're 18, you know more than everybody else. And you think they're all crazy why they won't walk through this two-mile section of line to figure out where the leak is. And I said, so I'll do it. 
And when we got to the place for me to go in, it's called the Kangurger Swamp. And it had, I looked at it and I said, well, where's the pipeline? They said, it's in there somewhere. And this one guy who was a Christian, there was only one that I was working with, he said, uh, God's going to do something with you in there because this is not going to be a, a pretty side ahead. And I really think what you're sharing is really what's ahead for us. And so to walk this line, because <laughs> I can't believe you shared this, to walk this portion all you got were a pair of waders up to here and a machete. That's all you got. And if you didn't find your footing through there, if you step one step over, you would actually sink because the pipelines had been open for forever. And so I started through there and I realized what an idiot I was and how dangerous this was. And uh, I was coming back to the Lord, but that accelerated it. <laughs> Quickly. Because if you got off center at all, you were in trouble. Now, hear what I'm telling you prophetically. If you got off center this way, you're in trouble. If you got off center this way, you're in trouble. And water was up to minimum your waist. And then the weeds were up over your head. And I kept saying, what in the world have I done? And all I could remember is what that one guy said to me. God's going to do something in you. And I was about a third through. And I really didn't even know if I was going the right direction. And all of a sudden, it's because it's got trees hanging over it from where used to they had made a way through there. All of a sudden, this black moccasin drops down in front of me. And all I could do was say, after I said several things, <laughs> because like I said, I was coming back. All I could do was take the machete, and if you don't hit a moccasin, moccasins are mean. And where there's one, there's lots. And I knew I had one shot at that thing, its head, because it came down. Now, <laughs> there has got to be no coincidence, this man who shared this with us. Because it was one of the life-turning moments in my entire life that brought me into a new level of awakening with the Lord. And then I realized, I don't even know if I'm right, and I could be eaten before I'm out of this thing. And the Lord spoke to me. It's been real interesting with my life. When I've had to, I've been able to hear Him, no matter when. I can remember since I'm 11 years old, if I had to hear the Lord, I could hear it. He said, look up. Now, this is a word for us. He said, do not look down at all this stuff that you're about to go through. Now, hear what I'm saying. I had no idea I would share this. Do not look down at what you're about to go through. Look up. And when I looked up, I could look about a mile ahead and I saw where the trees had an opening in it. And the Lord said, keep your eyes fixed on that opening in the heaven. And if you'll keep your eyes fixed on it, you will make it through this place. Now, I believe we have heard tonight where we're headed. So I, I think as a prophetic act, you just need to raise your machete up for a moment and say, Lord, keep us looking up. And the snakes ahead will have no heads. 
Let's thank God for that.